New Mexico Attorney General Hector Balderas tested out Doniana Community College's Virtra system, a virtual training system to help with de-escalation of potentially dangerous situations. Matt, is anybody inside? Let me see your hand. Richard DeRowan, a law enforcement professor at DACC, says the virtual training system is very realistic. They're fairly graphic. Uh, the avatars, they're not uh, animations, by the way, they're actual video images, do respond to the weapon systems that are presented, and they also respond to the officer's actions. That is, if the officer is telling the individual to drop a weapon or to calm down or to move to a particular location, they do respond based upon my input as the operator. Uh, realistic, I can tell you that most people that, that get up here do uh, have their heart rates go up. Um, they do react quite well to it. Attorney General Hector Balderas says training and technology like this can help build trust in a community. That will be very important to bridging and bringing law enforcement and communities together. Uh, officer safety is just as important as community safety. Baldera says good training is critical for law enforcement. Law enforcement should be afforded all the best training uh, in the United States, uh, but it's real important. This is also important for officer safety as well as community safety. Professor Richard DeRowan says the Virtra system provides 70 scenarios with over 300 outcomes, and that this kind of training is necessary before officers enter the field. It's absolutely paramount. The thing is, is that if you do not train to succeed in a combat situation or tactical situation, you will fail dramatically. So the idea is to, is to train, to be effective, to pay attention, and to understand the dynamics that are unfolding because they do occur very quickly. So the idea, if you do not train, you will not do well, but if you do train, it offers you some venues and avenues of uh, strategies that you can employ to be successful and uh, bring about a peaceful outcome. Las Cruces Police Chief Jaime Montoya says his officers have gone through this virtual training and continued training of all types is essential. I think as often as possible, I wouldn't put a time limit to it. I think as often as possible, not only do we do this training, but we do simula simulations training as well, which is very uh, realistic as well. So all of these trainings that we're, we're provided just makes us a better department, in my opinion. Attorney General Hector Baldera says community trust in police is helped through this kind of training. Good, strong law enforcement requires uh, community trust and community participation. And so I think uh, this is an important tool to make sure that we strengthen those relationships. Balderas says the simulation proves good training is needed because he is not trained and was shot in one scenario. For KRWG, I'm Samantha Sonner.